So now that we have this created, if we go to structure and then blocks and we scroll down, you'll see that we have a mini panel default right sidebar block available to us for positioning now. We're going to use context in order to position this. So I'm going to go to structure, context, and we have our site-wide context that we added earlier on in this series. What we'll do is go ahead and edit this. And again, this context is supposed to be active for any page on the site. Right now, if we go down and click blocks, you'll see that what it does right now is display the system help block, the main page content, although this is a little bit redundant, and then we have search form, navigation, and user block over here on the left-hand side. What we're gonna do now is replace these with our mini panel, but we're gonna add it to our sidebar second. Let's go ahead and add it before we remove the blocks just to make sure it's working properly. So if we scroll down on the blocks on the right-hand side here, you'll see the mini panel default right sidebar. We'll check that and we'll add it to sidebar second. We'll scroll down and click save and let's exit out of the overlay. And now if you scroll down, you'll see our search bar and our navigation displayed here within a single block. Now the idea here is that our mini panel is now a block that contains blocks. So we have the wrapper that we didn't have before. So now that we know that that's working, let's go ahead and hide our sidebar blocks over here. And let's also hide one of these product blocks. We have two of them displaying here, but let's keep the one that's the result of a view that's based on products rather than the one that's based on reviews. As I said before, I think that this is a little bit more natural, even though sometimes it requires additional configuration to work properly. First of all, let's hide these sidebar blocks. So I'm gonna to go to structure and context. 